Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. I went to a local comic book shop today, did a little hunting, um, found a few comic books, so I'm gonna highlight that in this video. Also, I'm gonna go over um, an exclusive release for Detective Comics. Um, that's pretty cool, so let's jump on into it. Um, I, my last video, I think I highlighted this book, Savage Shores number two. Uh, this is a really hot title. Um, multiple printings. I think they're up to a third print on the first on the first issue. Uh, you know, I would hunt for these if you can in shops. Um, where I where I live, it, a lot of the comic book shops didn't didn't have this really on on their rack at all. So, um, pretty much had to hunt for it on eBay. Um, I did find this issue number two relatively cheap. I think with shipping it might have been like maybe 10 or 12 bucks, um, which is really good because I think it sells easily over $20 now um, just for number two. I don't have a first print of number one, but I have the second print, which is worth more than the, than the first print. So uh, this is a good title. The writing's awesome. The artwork is great. Um, yeah, it's just just a fantastic title. So I don't see this going anywhere but up as far as value. So I would keep this on your radar. Um, yeah, if you can find a great deal, I would look for it. So let's jump into it here. So I went to one of my shops today and just went looking and I saw that they had Aquaman number two. This is the first appearance of the Trench King. Um, yeah, this was one that I kind of wish I had bought in, you know, a while ago or purchased a while ago, but because um, I did read that storyline uh, recently with the Trench King, and it was really, really good. You know, you had Josh Milton covers. Um, so I kind of collected that storyline, and I, I it should have prompted me to go back and and by issue number two, because you know, or at least looked up who when was the first appearance of the Trench King. Uh, it's a key book now, no doubt about it. Um, there's rumors that he's going to be the villain in the next Aquaman movie. Who knows if that's true? I don't think that's been confirmed yet. But obviously, the speculation is driving this book. This book was on the top ten list for uh, on CBSI's website. Uh, a couple weeks ago, so yeah, this is a good book to get. I found this for twelve bucks. Uh, not too bad. It sells easily between eighteen and twenty all day long on eBay, um, and, and as high as twenty five. So twelve bucks was a pretty good deal, I thought. Um, it's in really, really good shape. It's definitely in near mint condition. Um, yeah, just nice to have in the collection as a key book. Uh, so let's. Also highlight a few other things. Um, I was looking for this book, and I hunted it down. It was at that shop today. Old Man Hawkeye number five. I've got the complete run now. Um, some reason I was missing issue number five. I think I went back and bought... Um, I had the first issue when it came out, and then I think I started buying it at like issue 10 when there was like a first appearance or supposedly a first appearance of Hydro, Hydro Captain America, I think it was. So, yeah, I, then I just went back and started buying all the previous issues, and I think five was, issue five was the only one I was missing. So, glad to have gotten that. It, it was a little bit more than cover. Um, uh, Coliseum of Comics is the store I, I sometimes go to, and they have a lot of back issues. Um and they usually off they'll usually have it for sale like fifty like fifty cents above cover so it was like four fifty for this which, which is not too bad so I'm glad to have found that it would you know it cost me more than that if I bought it on eBay with shipping and all that so I thought that was worth getting um, another book I missed getting was and it came out um, this week is Sharky the Bounty Hunter. Number one, uh, this is the Scalero cover. So on Midtown, um, I noticed this one sold out the quickest. Uh, they had a bunch of these on the shelf, so <clears throat> I went ahead and grabbed one. 
Uh, yeah, I'm interested in reading the story. I heard it was pretty good. And I think this is going to be the cover that, you know, I guess if, if any of the covers are worth the most money, this should be the one that's worth the most. Um, Mateo, Mateo Scalero is a very hot artist. A lot of his stuff has been doing well lately. And this one sold out, you know, the, the I, I guess on Midtown, this one sold out the quickest that I noticed. So, yeah, so I picked that up for cover. Not bad. Uh, I wanted to also show off, uh, you know, a book that made the list this week on CBSI's website is Venom Number 9. Uh, I need to correct myself from the last video. I think I said that I wasn't sure... <laughs> If, Eddie, if this was the first appearance, or I think it's the first full appearance of Eddie Brock's son. So the initially, and the storyline led you to believe it was his brother, but it's really his son. So this definitely could be a key book. Um, this book right now, I looked on eBay. There was only two copies for sale. They were both 30 bucks. So... Yeah, congratulations if you picked this up. I picked this up in my Midtown order. Um, basically, I picked it up because I was collecting all the animation variants. So <laughs> I have uh, every one of the Spider-Verse variants um, that came out over the last month or so. I picked all of them up. Uh, and, you know, a couple of them are worth some decent money. That Spider-Gwen one is, is definitely like a $15 book. Uh, but this one is is definitely the the one that's done the best and it's more to do with the uh, first appearance there so this is a key issue if you haven't already make sure you pick it up i think long term this would be a good one to have um you know and it's got a cool cover i mean spider-man noir awesome cover so yeah i got that and i also had the um sinkovich cover so i you know venom's a hot title i try to buy most of the covers if i can uh, unless I really don't like the cover. Uh, but this one's pretty cool, too. So, All right, so that was my little mini comic haul today. Um, real quick on that exclusive. Uh, so here on the screen, I've got it blown up. This was off of CBR's website. It's how I found it. Um, Detective Comics 1000. So with Action Comics 1000 last year, that was a big event. Um, the best... Book two of the best variant. You know, there were a lot of store variants. There were a lot of uh, DC variants. There, I think there were ten of them. Um, the Jim Lee tour variant um, was definitely the best book to get. It had a fairly limited print run. I think it was around two or three thousand. And you know, I bought it on eBay last year around 70 bucks and it instantly went to like 300. <laughs> I mean, I, there were people easily buying it around 300 and I know it settled back down to probably around 100 bucks. So, and I don't, who knows if this will do the same thing. So this is, I think this is the most exclusive one you can get right now. Um, the website is torpedocomics.com. Um, the sketch one here is limited to only a thousand, so that's a way lower print run than than the Action Comics um, Jim Lee that he did last year. So I don't know for forty bucks, I think it's a damn good, good buy. So uh, if you're interested in this, you better hurry on it. Um, this article just came out today. I wouldn't be surprised um, if this sells out pretty quickly. There's also some other, um, there's a Bane cover. Now, it's not in black and white. It's in color. Um, yeah, there's the color one of the, of the Joker. So you can buy a set. I think there's a set of four of these. So let me go to their website real quick. It's a little easier to show you. Yeah, so you can see right there they've got it right on the head the headline page there uh, with all these exclusive covers. So um, so basically for 120 bucks 
you can get the sketch cover and then you, you get four other covers. Um, you've got the, um, let me see if I can zoom in here. Uh, crap. Let me go back a little bit. Sorry guys. Computer just not working too well here. All right, let me zoom in. Whoa, <laughs> too much. Uh, so you've got the, let me zoom in a little bit so it's a little easier to see. All right, so you got the Joker and Batman cover. You got the Bane Batman cover, Harley Quinn Batman cover, and then you've got Catwoman Batman cover. And then, of course, the black and white um, or the sketch of the Joker and Batman so uh, I don't know. I mean, I was initially thinking, yeah, I'll buy the whole set for 120 bucks, but um, I don't know. I've, I've been kind of kind of going too crazy with <laughs> with the variants lately. I mean, I already, I think I already have. I bought, pre-ordered two of the regular Detective comics. Uh, I think the Capullo and the Jock cover. I pre-ordered those. I pre-ordered and bought. Um, that uh, that Lee cover, uh, the not in Hook Lee, it's the uh, I think it's Hung Jin Lee. Man, I can't. I think it's Hung Jin Lee. It's really cool Harley Quinn cover. I picked that up a set for fifty five bucks. So I, yeah, I kind of been buying a lot of these. So I just went with the the black and white for forty bucks. Um, that's the lowest print run. There's only a thousand. Um, I think this is going to sell out quick. So. Yeah, I mean, if you really love the artwork, you know, buy buy all the covers for 120 bucks. Um, or if you had to pick one, I think the one to get would be the black and white, just because it's the it's the lower print run. Only a thousand of these made. Um, this is the one I think it's going to be worth the most. So, yeah, once this sells out, this will be a hundred, two hundred and twenty dollar book. I think pretty quickly, and maybe higher. Who knows? Um, yeah, so that's kind of the kind of a pretty cool deal. I think it's worth buying if you're a big Jim Jim Lee fan, which I am. I've met Jim Lee. He's fantastic, really nice guy. Um, he comes to Florida once in a blue moon um, and does some signings. So this would be a really cool one next. I think next time if he comes into, he usually comes to Orlando. So I think next time he comes to Orlando, um, yeah, this would be. A book that I'll try to get signed by him, perhaps. So, um, just think it's a really, really nice cover. I think this is the best one of of the four different images. So that's all I had for tonight, guys. I just wanted to shoot that quick video highlighting that comic haul and let you know about this exclusive book. Um, jump on it if you like it. Um, I suspect it'll sell out pretty quick. Uh, but that's all I had. So I'll uh, shoot another video. Um, on a Wednesday highlighting the books coming out for the following week. So look for that video and hope you guys have a good week. I'll talk to you soon.